Hi guys, I'm Lindsay Elise. And I'm Zach, also known as Grimace. And we're here to show you the new Xbox Series X! So as most of you guys know, we didn't get a chance to go to E3 this year. Nobody did. So we haven't seen this yet. We have not actually seen this console in person yet. Yeah. So our excitement knows no bounds right now. <laughs> yeah. We have no idea what to expect. We obviously know generally what it looks like, but the size and shape and just the general uh, visual of it, obviously nobody has really seen yet. So we're really pumped and it was really hard to maintain discipline to the point where we actually <laughs> turn cameras on before opening this thing up and taking it out. So yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Without further ado. Just do that and then we'll... So... The thingies are here, so we'll just like pretend. Oh, here we go. Ready? The money shot. Oh. Ooh. There she blows. Look at that. Power your dream. Wow. It's so much smaller than the, <laughs> the yeah. box. Yeah. I wasn't money expecting it to wow. be that small. Okay. Yeah. Holy cow, it is tiny. It was supposed to be a size of fridge. What's going on, <laughs> Xbox? Alright, ready? That's crazy. How are your dreams? Whoop. Oh my gosh, it's so small. What is this? I can't believe how tiny it is. Getting started. Okay, so then we got... Instructions! So before we do this, let's open this up. This is probably where the controller and the cables are. Alright, so we got... And the, the controller for the Xbox One X will work with the Xbox Series X. Correct, yeah. So all your fancy controllers, your custom controllers, I know I have a couple. Uh, they will all work couple, with this. A couple so. dozen. <laughs> yeah, so the controller is a little bit different. You can already tell um, the D-pad is now a full circle instead of just uh, the standard uh, plus sign D-pad that you would normally see. And then the bumpers are a little more pronounced. That's kind of nice. The Elite 2.0, for instance, almost no difference at all. I mean, very, very similar in size. Uh, it feels very similar in the hand. Uh, obviously, there is the new button here, the share button in the middle of the controller. But, yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> and I'm very happy that they uh, kept pretty much the same design because I've, I've loved this uh, the Xbox one controller and And it's vice versa. So obviously this newer one will work on an Xbox one Xbox one controllers come forward. So crisscross All right, what else we got in here we got the HDMI cable You can't have like goat horns <laughs> You can't ever have enough HDMI cables. <laughs> Got the power cable. Power cable with no power brick. That's right. Excellent. Good. No more power brick. Last few years. And that's far superior. Is that it? Pretty much. What is this? Ooh. <gasps> that's not. Okay. What else we got in her? <laughs> Here, do you want to try it on? No! <laughs> I want to play video games. Not yet. Nice. Yeah, that's that's really all it is. It's just excellent. Well, it's that's so all you simple. need, right? I mean, you have your batteries, obviously. You, know, you can use free batteries. Rechargeable. But let's go ahead and pop these in the controller just for the hell of it. Mm, it's over here. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You did it. Now we have the true weight of the controller. Game on. Game on. How, how does it feel? Okay. Now here's the part that we really... Oh. <laughs> you want to do, do one? No. Come on. Push the buttons. Do the thing. <laughs> All right, let's get to the part that everybody wants to see. Let's put the 
Cables over, yeah. I'm gonna set this here, don't bump it. That's the rules. I'm gonna be so embarrassed if it's upside down right now. Is it upside down? I don't know. Look how nice it is. It's wrapped up like a Christmas present. Power your dreams. There you go. Yeah, wait. Here we go. Yeah. Power your dreams. Dreams powered. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, don't rip it. It's got a cool, cool paper. <laughs> oh, like, oh, 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 oh. Oh, there's the front. Show me your face. Wow. Look at that. Come on out of there. Come on out of there, little guy. <laughs> Time wow. to party. There she blows. All right, ready? Whoop. Oh, over there, paper. So, dreams powered. <laughs> so right off the bat, you can see the green tint on the top Ooh, there. I love it. It's such a cool effect. So a couple of things. You obviously have your USB port up front and your disk drive. You can uh, use the console on its side or standing up. If uh, you flip it around on the back here, you can see the ports that we have to work with going forward. We still have the same uh, HDMI out, obviously. You got your ethernet, your power cable. The new one though is this Seagate expansion slot right here. That is gonna be for a one terabyte SSD memory card that you can just pop in there and essentially double the size of the memory on the console. And those memory cards are custom made for the Series X so that you don't have to do anything fancy you just pop them in and out and it's actually kind of so nice. So nice. <laughs> I can't wait to use that feature. It's going to be so nice to not have to rely on external hard disk drives that take up tons of space mm -hmm. and need extra power supply. Or even uninstalling games in order to fit new games on there. Yep. You're not going to have to worry about that anymore. So we'll we'll uh, we'll get into those memory cards down the road when we need them um, but yeah in the meantime it does come with a one terabyte SSD internal so you won't hit that point just yet, <laughs> but it is going to be nice to have memory cards again. They're really small, we've seen them, and they look amazing. It's going to be really convenient. And it does have the stand on the bottom here, so if you feel like standing it up, it's got that. And then if you feel like laying it down, it also has these nice little bumpers here so that it doesn't scratch up your console or your desk, but most importantly the console. Yeah, gotta keep it pretty. So when we first got our console and posted our pictures, the biggest question you guys had was, how big is it? So, and it's a fair question, because again, no one's really seen it yet. But in an effort to kind of demonstrate just how small this thing really is, here is the Xbox One X. Now when you stand them up vertically, at first glance, it might seem like the One X is a lot smaller. They're about they're the same height. They're the same height. They're very similar height. But when you turn them sideways, <laughs> not so much. And a big reason for that is because they chose to split the motherboard in half. So they basically took the standard size board and cut it, put it side by side. And they did that so that one giant fan can shoot air down the Series X and cool both sides of both of the motherboard components at the same time, making for a fantastic heat solution because of all the power coming out of this thing. So. At first glance, like I said, it might seem like it's a lot smaller, but honestly, Series X is not very big at all. 4K gaming, 120 hertz, 12 teraflops, and it's so much smaller than I expected. I can't believe it. It's going to outperform my PC. Yeah, I was just thinking that. And it's that. smaller, <laughs> way smaller. So much nicer than my PC, too. So, yeah. Yeah. At this point, uh, I kind of want to turn it on and see what it can do. So let's do that. But before we go, I want to say thank you so much to Xbox and Taco Bell for the opportunity and sending this over to us, bestowing this beauty upon us and upgrading our, our home with its presence. And we really can't thank you enough. Yeah. And now we're going to go play. We're extremely grateful. So thank you again. Stay tuned for more uh, information on the console itself and what it can do. Bye. Bye. Gimme!